Told preacher Eliud Wakesa, also known as Yesuwe Tongaren, has been detained for four days by Bungoma Court to allow police to conclude a probe into his questionable religious activities. Justice Tom Mark Orlando, while granting the prosecution orders, has directed that Wakesa undergoes a mental assessment test during the four days to determine his suitability to stand trial. Wakesa has been in and out of court as police intensify crackdown on controversial religious entities in the wake of the Shaka Hula massacre. Henry Tender with more. Following his arrest yesterday, Eliud Wekesa alias Yesu Watongren, leader of the controversial New Jerusalem Church, was arraigned before a Bungoma court amid tight security and in full glare of the media. <laughs> Kinley, he followed the proceedings as Justice Tom Orlando issued directions on whether or not he should be detained. Justice Tom Orlando directing that Wekesa, alias Yesu, be detained for additional four days to allow the prosecution time for investigations. I thus order that the suspect be held at Bungoma police station for four days and um, the prosecution to conclude their investigation within that period of time. Justice Orlando additionally directing that Yesu Watongren be subjected to a mental test to determine his suitability to stand trial. That he be taken to the hospital for mental assessment at the Bugoma County Referral Hospital. And faced Eliud Wekesa, speaking to journalists before he was remanded, said he is not afraid to go through a legal process as he remains convinced he is innocent of all accusations leveled against him. <laughs> On whether or not he should be crucified like they did to Jesus Christ, Yesu had this answer. Yesu alisubiriwa tu mara moja. Mara ya pili ni kuwa wala ambao wameningojea. He has distanced himself from the empatled Paul McKenzie of the controversial Good News International cult and has asked police not to punish him for McKenzie's mistakes. Yule wa Shakahola aupete msalapa wake mwenyewe. Nakumbuka kuna wimbo uliimbwa na kila mtu atauchukua msiko wake mwenyewe. Leo hii mahali hapa tuko na ufalme wa mbinguni na akiwa ni Yesu. Asa mahali pale kuna malaika shadraka pendeleko na meshaka. Wasikitie katika haya haya. Na Mungu hakuwa waacha wakaipika. Na huu ukiona jaribio linakuja chuo kwamba kuna ushindi. Yesu wa Tongren faces several counts of accusations. He is blamed of operating an unlicensed church contrary to the law. He is also accused of money laundering and advancing controversial doctrines. Henry Tende, Look Up TV.